This is question 24. College Board gives us a linear equation and they ask for the interpretation of 9.8 in context where this equation gives the speed s in meters per second at time t seconds after the object is released. And choice A says 9.8 is the speed of the object when it hits the ground, but that doesn't make sense because we don't know what time it hits the ground and at time t equals 0, the speed is 0, time t equals 1, speed is 9.8, t, time t equals 2, speed is 19.6. We would need to know what time it hits the ground to know if that happens to be true. Choice B, the increase in speed in meters per second for each sec second after it is dropped. Well, I just said at time t equals 0, the speed is 0, at time t equals 1, the speed is 9.8, so we did, in fact, increase by 9.8 meters per second in the first second. And at t equals 2, the speed increases by another 9.8 to 19.6. So the slope of this line, 9.8, is the amount that speed increases for each unit increase in time. So that would be choice B. C says the speed, t seconds after it's dropped, but that didn't work because it that's only correct at t equals 1. At t equals 0, the speed was 0, and at t equals 2, the speed was 19.6. So c is not correct. And choice d says the 9.8 is the initial speed, but at time 0, this formula gives us speed equals 0, so that's not 9.8, and d is wrong. The correct answer for the interpretation of the slope in the context of the problem is choice b. It's the amount that the speed increases for each second that the object falls. College Board often asks you to interpret slope or intercept or both in the context of the problem. So make sure that you can connect equations to word problems like this and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.